Today I'm going to recover these cushions because they're they're a little bit gross, especially this one. It's got a hole in it. I'm going to try to do it as quick as possible. I'm going to be using this uh, cotton duck canvas, which I've been using for a lot of stuff. It works pretty well. Traced the cushion and I added a half inch seam allowance. I think a half inch is good on this material because it gives you enough room in case it unravels a little bit. This one cut off and I just need to make three more of these guys. For the edge piece, I'm gonna decide that three inches is about the right distance. So I made a big strip and I added um, one inch so I can have a half inch seam allowance on each side. And I'm also gonna do a, a hidden zipper so I added an, an extra inch for that that also have a half inch seam on each side. And uh, so then I, the place where I'm going to do the first, sti uh, the first row of stitches will be two inches from this side. So I have two inches and then three inches for five, five inches total. So I cut it out at five inches and now I'm going to fold it in half. So the fold will be at two and a half inches and then one half inch from the fold will be my first row of stitches. So now that first stitch is made, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut open this fold right here. So now that I've cut open this fold, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll unfold this and then I'll set, spread out the seam and then I'll sew my zipper. My zipper, I just have continuous zipper. I'll sew that with the zipper pointed down into the, the stitch like this. And I'll just sew it on this side and then I'll sew it on this side. So now that I've stitched the zipper on the fabric on both sides, now I just rip this seam in the middle and expose the zipper. So that seam is ripped out and there's the zipper. Now you can see it, and you can, it's kind of hidden. And I just put a zipper pull on here and that will be good to, to start to sew onto my cushion cover. Um, and I made 120 inches of it, which should be enough to cover my three cushions I need to do. That's one side sewn on there with a test fit. And I just have to, to sew the other side on. And I always have trouble making uh, it line up on the second side. So I think I might use pins for this. Pin it together first. Okay, it's all sewn together inside out. So now I just need to get the zipper open and turn it right side out. And of course I had that problem I always have where the where the one side of the fabric wants to like bunch up and the other one is too tight, but so there's a few little pleats in there, but I think it'll be okay. Getting it in the, the cushion in there, and uh, just gonna go ahead and try to zip it up now. This is obviously the most satisfying part. Zip. And there we go. The zipper is not super hidden, but I don't really care. Just want to try a different different technique than I've done before and uh, I may adjust the fluff the cushion a little bit try to get it adjusted but actually that that feels pretty good and um, I shouldn't I should be careful about marking the fabric if it's going to show so I think this cushion should go with this side up this side looks fine. Okay, so now I just need to do this one and then the opposite side of opposite cushion to this.